Welcome to Jaywick Daily Lives. We've been doing this show now for well over three weeks to keep you company during, during coronavirus lockdown. But then yesterday, we had some more sad news. Yesterday, we heard that we are in lockdown for another three weeks. So, three more weeks of lockdown. But you know yourself, lockdown is not just lockdown. Lockdown is staying home so we can save lives. And there are lives that need saving. And we can just infect people just by not even knowing we have it. And because coronavirus affects everybody in different ways, how are we to know if we are carrying it or we are carriers ourselves? So we cannot go out there and risk lives. So if people are complaining and moaning about the lockdown, well, maybe they need to know more about the coronavirus because it's what we need to do. We need to stay home to save lives. And even though we don't understand it, surely we can understand that going out does risk lives. Now, I saw a video on Twitter earlier today and it had loads and loads of people on London Bridge or Tower Bridge and they were all standing together clapping. But there was hundreds and hundreds of people. I tell you what, do they even know about staying home to save lives? Yeah, I walked to the end of the road to film Steve banging the drums, but I didn't drive there, I didn't do anything wrong. I only walked down my road. But all these people, they can't all live on London Bridge. So how come there was thousands of people all next to each other clapping? They weren't two metres away from each other. They were all very close. So I'm just wondering, how come there is one law for one, one person, then another law for another person? Who, who is right? Who is wrong? What is it, what's going on here? We need some clarity. We need to clarify this. I cannot believe that they allowed thousands of people to stand on Tower Bridge and clap for the NHS. Because I know that we are showing our appreciation for the NHS, but... One second, we're just making this a bit higher. Is that any bell? Shine on everybody, just trying to get my camera sorted. Here we go. So yeah, I thought it was very wrong that there was loads of people clapping on London Bridge, even though it's for a very good cause. I do think it was a very, very out of context thing that I saw. There we go, how's that? There we go, everybody. So welcome to Jaywick Daily Lives, the daily show where we all talk to each other about the latest developments in the coronavirus crisis. Now, since the last meeting yesterday, it has been, I, it, I have been informed that there will be three more, three more weeks of lockdown. And um, how are we all coping? What, what does this mean to you? I'm not complaining. I am staying home to save lives. And if, if, if I am asked to stay home, then I will stay home. I'm not complaining. I think that we should all do what we are told. So what do you all think? Is there anyone, I, I know people are upset. I know people are frustrated. But what I want to hear from you, your perspective of what is going on. Let me read through who's with us today on this show. Here we go. Let's start from the beginning. So we've got Elaine Louise Gwyn Townsend. Hello, Elaine. My love to you and Charlotte and all of our families. And we've got Paul Craddock. Shine on to Paul Craddock. And we've got Danny Heather. Shine on Danny Heather. And we've got Leon Sarah Pegg. Shine on Leon and Sarah forever. And we've got Mandy Nanny Johnson. And we've got Le Leon Sarah Pegg. Wogwan. <laughs> you know that. And we've got Lowe's. Lee Bolden. Shine on Lowe's. We've got John Cooper, shine on. Hi Danny, how's you? I'm not bad bro, I'm just doing my daily show to bring everybody together. And we've got Barbara Tarlin, shine on Barbara. And we've got Mark G. Lewis, shine on to Mark. Another great man, we've got Kay, hello Kay. And I can't pronounce Kay's second name. I'm not even gonna attempt it. Sounds like Ze Kay Zepana. Kay Zepani. Maybe Kay Zepani. I'm not very good with that name, but it's a, we know we love Kay. 
Me and Kay went all the way to Canterbury together to watch Carry On Jaywick. What a great time that was. And we had Kevin with us and he threw up. Oh, it's always one, isn't there? Shine on, that was a great adventure. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are now with the fish. They are my bliss. They are not on the dish. They are my wish. I love my fish. So we got Leon, Sarah, Peg. Uh, yeah, I know a thing or two. I'm home and still having to stay in. I'm telling you this is going to be around for months because all these twats won't listen. Leon, I totally agree with you. This will be around for months. Last, last night on Twitter, I saw a video of loads of people on London Bridge. They were all clapping and all standing next to each other. And there was no respect for self-isolation, self for self-distancing. There's no way they all live together. No one lives on London Bridge. I have seen from my own eyes that people are not caring about this lockdown. Most people are caring, but the, the people that are not caring are ruining it for all the people that do care. So it's about time the people that care come down heavy on the people that don't care. Because the people that don't care are going to hurt someone that we do care about. So we need to start showing how much we care for people by making these idiots and twats stop going out and risking people's lives. Come on, the reason we do these daily shows is to know what people are and what they're doing. And we know people that are all going out meeting each other. We know that they're dickheads. Come on, we know they're dickheads. So no more of that. Shine on everybody, here we go. Costa del Jaywick. We are in for Jaywick Daily Lives. We're not nobody. We're not nowhere else. We are here. So shine on to Leon. Thank you for that. Keep telling me your input. And I'll read everybody's comments out. I promise. Everyone that leaves a comment, I promise I'll read it out. Because you are part of Jaywick Daily Lives. We are all part of this together. Hello, Sharon Taylor. Hello, Sheena Fortin. Hello, Cassie Hedges. Hello, Steph Lauren. Hello, Cliff Dean. Sharon Taylor, hello, hi. Hello, Sharon, I hope you're well today. Thank you for your help with getting in touch with Les about the freezer. That has made the Jaywick Food Bank very happy. It is our job to help each other, to get what is needed, to make the world a better place, to help each other, and to get things corrected and get things done for all humans. And that is my role in life, is to make people connect and bring people together. And through my videos, people get helped. Through my videos, people get what they need. Through my videos, we can see that life is something that happens while we're busy making other plans. How about we stop being so stupid to ourselves and just stay in, save lives. It's not about you or me or what we want. What, what it's about, it's about saving lives. This coronavirus is a virus and it might, it might not go away for a very long time. People really do need to stay away from each other. And that is the message today. We've just been given another three weeks lockdown, but it's not like we've been given three months lockdown or three years lockdown. I know people that have gone to prison for many, many years. It doesn't mean they cut their wrists and they die. I know people that have gone to prison for 20 years, 15 years, and they came out and they rebuilt their life. So us as a country, we can grow our balls and we can start bouncing our balls off the pavement and we can start saving lives by staying home. I know people that were very good people and they had one night of drink and they messed their whole life up and they ended up getting 20 years in prison. But they have not given up on their lives. They came out of lives and they did everything they were meant to do and they did it right. Just because someone made a big mistake, it doesn't mean that they're a big mistake. The people that have made the biggest mistakes normally have the biggest hearts. And I am one of them people. And I've made very many mistakes. But I decided 10 years ago that I want more from life. And here I am. This is Danny, more from life, slog it. And there was Danny, I don't give a damn about life before this. But now there's Danny, I want more from life. And I want to help people. I want to help myself. And I want everybody to help each other. And we can all look on the bright side of life. We don't have to bring people down because we feel down. Maybe we can bring people up because we want to be up. Maybe because we want to be happy, we can bring happiness around. Maybe we can make people happy just by being happy. But whatever the situation, whatever the scenario, stay home, save lives. And that is the only advice that you need. So shine on to Cliff Dean. I'm not sad, I'm always happy. I know you are, Cliff. Cliff, you're a great man. You wear your heart 
on your sleeve. You're a great man. Shine on to Cliff Dean. And uh, Monica H. Thomas, shine on to Monica. Uh, great to see you on the show. And Stephen Bear. Hello, Stephen Bear. We love Stephen Bear because Stephen Bear care. Stephen Bear is rare because Stephen Bear care. Stephen Bear is so rare that Stephen Bear care. We love Steve Bear because Steve Bear care. Mwah. Shine on, Steve Bear. We know that you care. And we've got Elaine. Shine on, brother. Keep him busy. It will be nice to speak to you this evening. Yes, Elaine, it'll be nice to speak to you this evening. After I've done my daily show, after I've done other things that I need to do, and then I'll finally get a bit of time to myself. Even though I'm on lockdown, I'm working on my poems every day. I'm working on my videos every day. I'm working on everybody every day to make the world a better place. So every day, I am still very busy through keeping myself busy. And that's what we all must do. All of these dreams, all of these realities, all of these hobbies that we've all got, this is the time to make them real. You know, all the other time, oh, I'd like to do that, but I don't get the time. Oh, I'd like to do that. There's always an excuse. Even when we're not in lockdown, we're still making excuses. And when we are in lockdown, we're still making excuses. So how about stop making excuses? That would be something nice that I would like to hear. Can we please stop making excuses for each other? If you want to do it, do it. And if you don't want to do it, you don't do it. And that's all there is to it. And now we can enjoy each other and make the most out of life. We've got Elaine. Shine on, brother. Keep him busy. We'll be nice to speak to you this evening. It'd be lovely to speak to you too. But we're not exactly going to speak about anything. What is there to speak about? I can only say to you that I'm locked down. You can only tell me that you're locked down. So I don't really see the point in it at the moment because we're all locked down. But it is lovely to hear your voice. But really, I've got nothing to say. There's nothing to tell you. I mean a bloody... I'm in lockdown. You're in lockdown. We are all locked down. We've just got to do our time. Time. T-I-M-E. Time is what we've all got to do. But it is still lovely to talk to you. But you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. It's just not a lot to talk about. We're just all, we're all banged up. It makes you feel a bit down. I'll be honest. I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of life in me. And I love life. But I still feel down. I still feel like, oh, what's the point? I wanted to sleep all day today. I did. I woke up about 9am. I just went back to sleep. I rolled over. I just don't want to be awake. What's there to do? But then, then I get my mojo back. And I think, I want to make today great. I'm going to read some poems out. I'm going to do the J Week Daily Live program. I'm going to do my exercise. <clears throat> and I'm going to find out from everybody else how they're getting over this and what they're doing. And that is a nice thing to do. It is really nice to talk to other people to find out how they're doing. Jay Wick Daily Lives. And we got Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Shine on to Sarah. And here's Donna Mims. It was Westminster outside St. Thomas's Hospital. Exactly, Donna Mims. But there was many, many people there that shouldn't have been standing that close together. And a lot of people are very angry on Twitter about it. And I am one of them people. There was no reason for that many people to be standing that close together because that is not how we're going to save lives. If we want to save lives, all of the people need to not be standing so close together because that is exactly not what we want. But anyway, it was nice to see them all clapping. Oh, oh, but was it safe? People on Twitter think it weren't safe. So there you go. Shine on everybody. And uh, Steve, thank you for letting us know, Donna, where it was. Uh, Steve Bear, yeah, I reckon Gov not telling us the truth. Steve Bear, trust me, when have they ever told us the truth? They only tell us what they want us to hear. They only tell us the statistics. They only tell us what we're meant to know. There's always much more than what we know. They call it in Jamaica, they don't call it politics. In Jamaica, they call it poly tricks. And the politicians make the people's money disappear. I made that bit up. But in Jamaica, it's called politrix. And, yeah, a lot of money goes missing in Jamaica, if you know what I mean. I'm sure it's not just Jamaica. So shine on to Steve Bear. Thank you, Joanne, for sharing the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
everyone that's involved in the program should share the video because I've said your name, you are involved in it. If your name is said on here, then this is your video as much as it is my video, as much as it is about coronavirus, about as much of us overcoming it, about us all talking to each other daily to work out how we can best work together to make it a better forever. Shine on everybody. We got Leon Sarah Pegg. I caught this because of selfish arseholes. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read you something now from my friend Leon. And Leon says how it is. And we like that about Leon. We love Leon because he says it how it is. Now, weak people won't like it, but I'm a strong person and I love it. So let me read you, read you what Leon just said. Leon, I caught coronavirus because of selfish arseholes. I had to go out to, if they turn up on the beach, tractor and a slurry tank and spray the see you next Tuesdays with piss. Leon, it's a very good point. And I make you right. One second. It's a very good point, Leon. And I need to take my trainers off because my feet are getting uncomfortable. So, Leon. Oh. <laughs> the killer shoes. So, shine on everybody. We are here with Leon. And let's talk to Tracy Jane. Hello, Tracy Jane. Hi. Shine on, Tracy Jane. Hello, Cliff Dean. Good afternoon. Glad to hear you're okay. Hello, Joanne Smallman. Joanne, give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. We love Joanna. She gives me hope. Thank you for my treats yesterday, Joanne. Hello, Bob Brace. And we've got Sarah Willingham. Hello, Sarah Willingham. Shine on to Sarah. And we've got Lauren Marshall. Hello, Lauren. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We are trying our very best in lockdown to stay home to save lives. I know that we're all not very happy. I know that we are all pissed off, a lot of us. But what I can say to you is that we are saving lives by staying home. The more people go out, the longer this lockdown is going to last for. And if people, so someone close to you dies and catches this disease, I'm sure your opinion of people that go out will change. When you lose someone through this, then people, they're going to be much more angrier than what they are now. I pray for everybody. So shine on to Lauren Marshall. And shine on to Julie Boyington. Hello, Julie. Nice to see you today, as always. And we've got Anthony Knight-Peters. Shine on, Anthony. And we've got Julie. Hello, Sweet Pea. Hello, Julie. We are doing what we do do. This is Jaywick Daily Liars. We are bringing people together. We are watching the fish. We are reading our poems. We are making the book Real Life Dreams. We are doing our exercise. We are loving each other. We are recommending that people stay home to save lives. We are still trying to help people in the community the best we can. We're still trying to have our own happy lives and we're still trying to do their lives and all of the things in between. They all go ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. But we can shine on. Shine on everybody because whatever's going on, they can't take your soul. They can't take your soul. So please don't be too upset. This might even give you five years longer that you live on your life. By staying in, taking care of yourself, you might even live longer. So shine on everybody. Make the most out of every crisis. Everything that happens in your life, learn to make the most out of it. I mean, I lived in Jaywick for 34 years. There's a lot of things that I've had to make the most out of, but I never give up. And I've had times where I've had no car, I've had no partner, I've had no money, I've had no future, I had nothing. But then I woke up. Once I woke up, I knew that them dreams that I've been having, I knew they could be a reality. So how about we can all wake up and we can all make our dreams a reality. Now that is my speciality. Reality, speciality, dreams, reality. Mmm, I like that. <coughs> I think you would like that. Hello, there's Roxy, I think. Hello, Lola. Lo lovely Lola. Hello, Lola. Lola. Hello, Lola. 
Hello, Paul Jones. Shine on, Paul Jones. Jason Taylor, you need to run. You need to run butter into your door hinges on the squeaky door. Thank you, Jason Taylor. I think I need to do that. I think I might do something like WD forty as well. Give me a second. There's there's a door. One second. Thank you, Jason Taylor. You just fixed my door. By me spraying my door with WD-40, it doesn't sweep no more. Jason Taylor, you just fixed my door on Jaywick Daily Lives. What a good man. Thank you very much. See, we all get something out of this show. Everyone that watches it learns something and gets something out of it. And I just fixed my door. Thank you, Jason Taylor. And we got Mohammed. Shine on, Mohammed. And we got Lola. Hello, Lola. Thank you very much, Lola. Thank you, Lola. I am very well. And we are making a difference by sharing Jaywick Daily Lives every day. That is all we can do. We're just trying to make a difference, trying to help people, bring people together. Happy every day, happy every night. Shine on to Jaywick Daily Lives. And we got Diane Hammond. Hello, Diane. We like Diane. Well, Jason Taylor, when I'm buying stock for market, keeping going. Well done, Jason. We just always can think ahead and we can always look on the bright side of life. And thank you for helping me fix my door just then, Jason. My door is fixed. Donna, police have got pulled about it. Yes, Donna, the police need to be pulled about it. They were just standing there allowing it. And people should be two minute, two metres away from each other. Even if they all were in hospital, they should, have, they should have been kept apart. And that is going to bring... See, people are not noticing all the good that we're doing. They're not noticing that most of the country is staying home to save lives. It's only the odd dickheads that are going out causing the problems, but they are still risking infection. Just because they haven't got it themselves, they might be secret carriers. We've said this many times. Nobody knows. Everybody needs to be tested. And we all need to stay home. And that is all there is to it. So shine on everybody. So thank you. We've got, um, we've got, right, we've been, we've been doing today's show for 23 minutes. So that gives us 36 minutes and 50 seconds of the show. So shine on everybody. Shine on. We've still got a long way to go. So thank you, Donna, for that. Donna, the shorts are lovely. Look at the shorts. I am too sexy for myself. Oh yeah. I love the shorts. Very, very nice. Thank you, Donna. I love my shorts. Hello, Julie. I am very well. Julie, I wrote a poem last night. I have not written a poem in about six months. But last night, I wrote a poem. I wrote it last night. Yeah, it's called It's called Really My Wish. I wrote this poem last night and it's called Really My Wish. Friday, April the seventeenth, the year twenty twenty. I wrote this poem 
last night. Would you like to hear this poem? This is my latest, latest poem. I wrote this last night at 11 p.m. This is called, Really, My Wish. You was always angry, always doubt. You've got to let it out. Stuck mind, thought control. Life in mode becomes boring. Somebody said something, moving up slowly. We go forward together. Forever is all we remember. Now we taste cocktail memories that don't leave like people do. We all wonder where life went wrong. I wonder we just grew up. Possible to grow out of even yourself. You're not you anymore. When you doubt, the sky looks like a drought. Even stars look thirsty. Wake up, would you? We are, we are what my poem is about. Not anymore. No more why. Life's even shorter these days. Coronavirus is life's reality. I notice humans are seeing our real faces. Life's always how life is. So now, more than ever, I'd like to tell all I have shared time with, you are really my wish. I wrote it last night, it's called, you are really my wish. My latest, latest poem. And what do you think of my latest poem, which is called, really my wish? I think it's brilliant and it's me all over. And it could have been written 20 years ago, but I wrote it last night. So my poem last night is as good as a poem I wrote 20 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just heard a poem called Really My Wish. I hope you enjoyed that. That's my latest, latest poem. I don't think I've written a poem this year. I think I might have written one or two around January, but I haven't written a poem for about three or four months. So because I'm reading my old poems out, I'm feeling kind of inspired. So I wrote that poem, You Are Really My Wish. All people that I share time with, you are really my wish. And that is what the poem means. And I think it's really, really good. Shine on to my poems. They're still as good as they always have been. Thank you, Julie, and to you too. And John Paul Jones. Hello, John. We love John. John lives in Liverpool, but he used to be my neighbour. And he's one of ours. We love you, brother. Shine on to John Paul Jones. And to Joanne Smallman. Joe and Dan way back. Hello, Joe and Dan. And I'm waving back to. And Tina Sims. Hi, Danny. How are you? Tina, I feel great. I feel good. Do -do 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 -do. I know that I could. Do -do 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 -do. I feel good. Do -do 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 -do. I know that I could. So good. So good. I want you to feel good as well. Shine on, Tina. I want you to feel good as well. I want everybody to feel good. That is what I want. That is what I wish. Like my fish. I wish I had hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, give me hope. Joanna, there's a song called Give Me Hope. So all you got to do is sing it. And that gives me hope. And that will give you hope. And Joanna, you do give me hope. Chris, last orders. Hello, Chris. Shine on. Jason Taylor. <coughs> Jason Taylor. My girlfriend lost her uncle and her cousin in the hospital for selfish people. Jason Taylor, um, my heart goes out to you and your family. Your poor girlfriend lost her uncle and her cousin in hospital through coronavirus. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. By not staying home, people are dying. And there are a lot of people that are very upset and very angry at dickheads that go out and risk people's lives. When are you going to realise that going out can kill someone? 
When are you going to realise that this is enough? Why do you think I do this show every day? To stay at home to save lives. To encourage everybody else. Yesterday we were making Captain Tom Moore, Sir Captain Tom Moore. And in a matter of weeks, he will be a sir. Because we love Captain Tom Moore. What a great man. So selfless. And we've got Julie Boynton. Yes. Mwah. Did you like my new poem, Julie? Was it good? That was one I wrote last night. So I hope that was as good as my old ones. I need someone to tell me what you think of my new one and what you think of my old ones. And do you think my style is exactly the same? Or do you think the way I write now is better than the way I write then? Or do you think it's exactly the same and I just grew up? What do you think about my poems? And how would you compare my old ones to my new ones? And am I better now or was I better then? So please tell me all of the answers. And I've just asked all you beautiful people all of these beautiful questions. Joanne Smallman, I only have hope when I watch you or Donna. Well, thank you, Joanne. You give us hope as well. So please don't let people ruin. Please don't let people ruin who you really are. Once a visit to the fire. Keep the engine down. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. So we've got Jade McComack. Hello, Jade. Shine on, Jade. And we've got Sharon Taylor. Good point, Danny. Living longer. That's right, Sharon. We will live longer. If we all stay home to save lives, we're going to be not putting on no extra pounds. We're not going to be putting on no extra stress. We might even live longer. How about that? The ones that didn't catch coronavirus, we might live longer because we're taking better care of ourselves. But anyway, I wish this wasn't happening. We just all need to stay home to save lives. And we've got Chow watching. Hello, Chow. Thank you, for, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we've got Hayley Ann. Shine on, Hayley Ann. And we've got Chow. Hello, Chow. Hello, Chow. Hello, Wing. Hello, Ann. How are you? I miss you all. When are you going to come and see me? Me, 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 me. Malaysia. We're going to Malaysia. Hello, Diane. Shine on, Diane. And Jason Turner, no oil dries, it's better butter. Okay, Jason, but the WD-40 would do for now. But thank you, Jason. At least my door don't sweep. God bless you. God bless you, Jason. And we've got Klaus. Hello, Klaus. Shine on, my friend. We've got Chris Last Order. Shine on, Chris. We've got Luke Den Denton. Shine on, Luke. Richard Coulson, there he is. Hello, Richard. How are you, mate? Susan Scott. Hello, Susan. How are you? I'm very well today, Richard. Thank you very much. I am very, very well. Making the most of life. Anthea Chapman. Hello, Anthea. Shine on. We've got all you great people here today. We are attracting so many people. It's really nice. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. You are beautiful, beautiful people. Right, the show has been going for 32 minutes and 52 seconds. That leaves us... 27 minutes and 25 seconds, something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, Lola Roxy, laugh out loud, you are mad, but I love it. Thank you, Lola Roxy. I know I'm mad, but I decided a few years ago, shall I be mad? Shall I be mad or shall I be sad? Shall I be sad or shall I be mad? I think I'm going to be mad. Mad is much better than being sad. Being sad makes people mad. So if I'm already mad, then I won't be sad. Who would want to be glad, to be sad, to be mad, to be sad? Who would want to be any of them emotions when you could be all of them apart from the one that you wanted to be? And I do not want to be sad. No. I don't want to be sad. Who wants to be sad? Not me. I know things have happened. I know people have died. I know people have left me. I know people can't drive. I know people can't go out. But that is not a reason to die. No way. I think you have many good reasons to live. Me, I'm a reason to live. You, you're a reason to live. Just look in the mirror, mirror and you will see that you are a very good reason to live. You, yourself and I. You, yourself and I. Do, 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 do. You, yourself and I. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I think it's me, myself, and I. But there you go. Shine on everybody. Please, please, don't be sad. If you want to be sad, 
watch the news. Every day at 6 p.m., there's news on the television. If you watch the news, you can be very sad. Yes, you can. But if you watch Danny Sloggett Vision, then you can be a bit mad. Because it's better than being sad. And sad drives me mad. So I'd rather be mad than be sad. So I'm glad that I'm not sad. And I'm glad that I am mad. Because being mad is better than sad. And I hope that you can all join in. Because I'm fed up with people being sad. Get over it. Move on. You're going to die one day. How about live your life today while you're able to live your life? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for someone to live it for you? Do you need to put your finger in a plug hole or something? Is there something wrong with you? Are you not right? Hello? Wakey, wakey. Today is a very good day to wake up and watch Danny Sluggett Vision. I will make you mad, but not sad. I will make you happy and glad. And I will let you, remind you, that you yourself is amazing. I'm talking about you. Yeah, you. The person just put all them little things on the screen. All them love hearts. And that's it, yeah. The people doing these little buttons, I'm talking to you. Is there anybody out there? Hello, hello. Is there anybody in there? Just nod if you can hear me. Is there anyone at home? Come on, come on. I need some information first. Just the basic facts. Can you show me where it hurts? There is no pain. You are receding. Long distance ships, long on the horizon. You are only coming through in ways. Your lips moved. But I can't hear what you're saying. And when I was a child, I had a fleeting glimpse out there beyond the horizon. And I have become comfortably numb. And I'd much rather be mad than sad. If you gave me a choice, Danny Sluggett, would you like to be mad or sad? Mad or sad? Well, I'm going to take mad, okay? Here's my hand, and I'm, you can make me mad. I'd rather be mad than sad. Because sad is shit. And sad makes people mad anyway. So if you start off being mad, then you won't have to be sad. And that would make me glad. Shine on to the mad. Anyway, that's enough of that. We've had enough of this madness. Thank you, lowly Roxy. Lovely talking to you. Richard Colson. I see that Mr. Moore has raised over 18 million. Richard, he's amazing. Captain Sir Tom Moore has raised over 18 million. And in a matter of days... He will be united, sir. The country has spoken. Well done, Richard. Well done, Richard Nash. Hello, Richard Nash. Hope you and all your family are okay. Sharon Taylor, definitely one for your book. Yes, I thought my latest poem is very good. And I don't really write now, unless it's going to be very good. I've learnt not to write as often, but when I do write, it's a very important subject. Every time I write about a different reality, I even mentioned coronavirus in this poem, which I thought was needed. I didn't go on about it. I just said, we're, we're coronavirus about. We know that we know what life's all about. We know what life's all about. We're, we're on the edge. Life is so valuable. We, we, all, we all expect that we're going to live to 80, 90 years old. That's what we all think. We all think, oh, I'm all right. I'm going to live until I'm 80 or 90 years old. But then you get hit with coronavirus. Or well, then you have an accident, a car, or some horrible illness. So nobody can be guaranteed they're going to live to 80 or 90. And can you actually do much living when you're that old anyway? I think you can. You can still live. But obviously, if you want, if you want to live to your full potential, then maybe right now, today, is your time to live to your potential. Yes, do it. What are you waiting for? As my dad always said to me, Danny, life is not a dress rehearsal. It's true. Life is not a dress rehearsal. Life is actually happening right now. So how many of you people are going to wake up and realise that this is the only life we've got right now? We don't die and get reborn. We're not back to this world anyway. So you should not be in a rush. 
you should make the very most out of life, make all of your dreams a reality. And then when you go to the next part of your life, which is heaven or hell, make sure you take your soul with you. And your soul is what you're talking with today. And you are your soul. And all that we know is your soul. And all that is known is your soul. And your soul is all that you ever really will know. So don't forget it. Don't leave it out. Don't cheat your own soul. Look after your soul, because that is all that you know. And your soul knows you more than you know yourself. So look after your soul is all that I know. Soul, look after it. Shine on. Definitely one for the book. Thank you, Sharon. I definitely think that's the book. Thank you, Joanne. I think that's going in the book. I like that. And Jason Taylor. Either that's the hardest part. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, I know it's all hard, brother. Just keep the faith. We must, all of us. And I send the prayer to you and your families and your friends and your relatives. Shine on to Jason Taylor. Shine on to all of you, please. Richard Colson. I have been indoors all day today. Corona's up update is on now. Yes. I'll just watch the news at six o'clock for five minutes. And that puts two hours of coronavirus into one minute. I ain't going to sit there for two hours and watch all these people in suits tell me all these stories. I'm not interested. I will wait until the 6pm news. And then I will watch it for one minute. And I will learn everything. And then I will go to back to my own world. A world where the fish are swimming. A world where the birds are flying. A world where my dreams are real. A world where everything is happy. That is the world I'm going back to. Jaywick Daily Lives. This is what we do. So we've got, um, thank you Richard Colson. Sharon Taylor, you are like a fine wine. You get better with age. Sharon Taylor, thank you very much. I do believe that that poem I wrote last night, I've got a really soft spot for it. When I wrote it, I was smiling. And I read it back to myself and I thought, that is a really good poem. That is exactly what I'm about. I am about making real life dreams you know little things but turn it into a dream and that to me is better than a, night a nightmare any dream is better than any nightmare shine on everybody and we've got jack woods hello jack woods and we've got jimmy harris shine on jimmy harris and richard hello richard colson the government wants to test more people the government should not want to test more people the government should just get on with it and test everybody. That's what I think. Test everybody. That is what I think. Danny, you make me so happy. Diane, if I make you happy, then that makes me happy. Because being happy is the best thing we can have in life. So please spread happiness. Please share my video and show other people how I make you happy. And maybe I could make them happy. And maybe they could make me happy. And maybe they could make themselves happy. And maybe we could all make each other happy. Just by being happy. Now that would be happy, wouldn't it? Shine on, happiness. That is all I want. The lockdown is going on for another three weeks. I know, Richard. And it could be lasting a lot longer. This will hopefully end next month. Richard, I really hope, I really hope it does end next month. But nobody knows at the moment. I pray, I pray, I pray that this will end one day. Thank you, Richard. Nobody, nobody's what's around the corner tomorrow as a bonus. Yes, exactly. Nobody knows what's around the corner and each tomorrow is a bonus. One of my dad's motorbikes, Harley Davidson's, when I was about 14 or 12 years old, my dad had a Harley Davidson. It was an orange one and it was a chop, Harley Davidson chopper. Always been Harley Davidson. And he had something written on the petrol tank. It said, every day's a bonus. Every day's a bonus. That is superb. What a great saying. Every day's a bonus. And trust me, every day is a bonus. So Richard Colson, this time next year we will hopefully be normal. Richard, this time in a hundred years, someone might be normal. But I don't think they are at the moment. Because being normal, what is normal? Normal is only normal to that, to that person. But every other person that looks at that person thinks they're not normal. So people are only normal to themselves. No one's really normal to anybody else because everybody is judging themselves on someone else when they should just really be themselves. No one is normal unless you are yourself. And then when you are yourself, then you will not be normal. Who would like to be like someone else? Who wants to be like everybody else? Who wants to be the same as someone else? Not me. 
I do not want to be like anybody else. So why? Why should you want to be like anybody else? What I love about you is your individuality and how unique you really are. That is what I love about you. So please do not, do not lose your uniqueness. Do not lose who you really are. Because it's you that I'm attracted to. And it's you that I love. So please don't ever lose you. Because you being you makes me be me. And me being you is you being you. And us by, by, by us being ourselves, that is better than anything else. Thank you for all of you. I am on form. I am reading more poems out. I am going to write more poems. I'm going to make my book. You're going to buy my book. You're going to look at my book. You're going to love my book. And I love you already. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a dream to make a reality. Real life dreams, my book. That is the reality. Who's going to help me make dreams real? Exactly. Shine on. Nobody knows what's around the corner. Tomorrow's a bonus. Exactly, Donna. Richard, this time next year, we will hopefully be normal. Richard, we don't want to be normal. Not ever. Hello, Patrick Tucker. Shine on, Patrick. Things aren't getting back to normal straight away. It will take a while for everything to re return to normal. Damn right, Richard. It's going to take a very long time. I just take each day as it comes. Richard, that's what we can all do. Shine on, Richard. You're a wise man. And Sharon Taylor, is normal being a robot? I do not know. I do not know. Sharon, robots. That's what people expect you to be. People expect you to have no opinions. They expect you just to be a robot. And when you tell people how you feel, they don't like it. So ladies and gentlemen, just get used to living in a paradox where everything that goes up comes down and everything that goes down comes up and everything that goes that way goes that way and everything that goes that way goes that way. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a paradox. Paradox is reality. Every time you go somewhere, something will always come back. And it's always like that. It don't matter, just get used to the paradox of life. James Jensen, normal is overrated, and I'd rather be stinging. I'd rather be a stinging nettle. I'd rather be a stinging nettle than a blade of grass. James Jensen, that is such a great statement. Normal is overrated, and I would rather be a stinging nettle than a blade of grass. Shine on, James. That is something I would say, but I haven't. And thank you, James. You've got great personality. Do you know what I love about people? I love personality. And James Jensen. He's got personality. Shine on, my friend. Personality makes me excited. I wake up to personality. I actually go to sleep off boring people. But personality, now that is a vanity. And that's where I go, I'm very happy with personality. Thank you, James Jensen. That is so good, I'm going to read it one more time. Normal is overrated. And I would rather be a stinger nettle than a blade of grass. Thank you for that, James Jensen. That's a great, great point. And Richard Coulson, Robot Danny Sluggett. What are you saying? Are you calling me a robot? Shine on, Richard. Ta uh, Joanne Smallman, take care, take care, keep safe. All catch up with videos, poems later. I love you. Shine on, Danny, Donna, and all. Joanne, thank you for your support. Thank you for sharing my video. This is your video too. Everybody that was in this video, this is your video too. So everybody's entitled to share it because we are all part of J Week Daily Lives. We are sharing our lives with each other to try and make it a better life. And that, there's nothing wrong with that. But today, it's the 17th of April, the year 2020. And yes, today was the day that I wrote a poem. It's been a long time since I wrote a poem. And the poem is right there. Really, my wish. And at the end of this J Week Daily Lives, I'm going to read it again so the show can end with it. Because I think our talent is something we should talk about. And I don't think we should talk about things that we already know about. I think it's nice to talk about things like talent and dreams because we've all got talent, we've all got dreams. And if we all keep talking about it, we might even be able to turn it into reality. Imagine that. Imagine if we turn our talent into a job or a reality. And that is my dream. Danny, slog it, vision. Yes. Okay, thank you, Joanne Smallman. And we've got Tina Sims. Will I read your poem? Will I will I read your poem out later? Tina, 
you can read your poem out later. And I can read mine and you, we can all do whatever we like. Thank you, Tina. I'd love to hear your poem too. And we've got Gary Otley. Hello, Gary. Shine on. And we've got Chase, Jason Taylor. We all should get on beach. And after lockdown for barbecue and party. Jason Taylor, I will be there with you, my friend. Let me know when you're doing it. And I'm going to come and have a beer and have great fun with you. And Richard Colson, I'm having past, pasta bolognese for tea tonight. Mmm. Richard, I don't know what I'm having yet. But last night I had roast chicken, broccoli, carrots, roast potatoes and roast chicken. And it was lovely. And I ate it all. And uh, tonight I don't know what I'm having. But I would like some sort of pasta, spaghetti. The spaghetti, a bolognese, huh? The spaghetti, a bolognese. Mmm. Spaghetti a bolognese. Mmm. Have you noticed how whenever you say spaghetti bolognese, we all have an Italian accent? Ah, ciao, 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 ciao. Mmm, ciao. Something like that. It sounds better when you're in Italy. Anyway, shine on everybody. Um, Joanne Smallman. Here we go. We love, we love, we love Joanne. What's she saying? Do -do -do. Here, are. this is Joanne Smallman. I woke up to. Two two-faced people, not aimed at you, Danny or Donna, just a nobody on here. Laters, I'm off to get pissed. It might make me happy, laugh out loud. More like a nightmare, laugh out loud. Joanne, there's a lot of two-faced people on here. And I get so disappointed with the two-faced people on Facebook. A lot of people would like to see me fail rather than do well. So the reason so many people watch me is to watch me fail rather than do well. I'm not saying all people are like that. I'm just saying a lot of people are like that. But you've got to remember, where there's a lot of bad people, there's also a lot of good people. And if you weigh them all out, I do believe that good is better than bad. I mean, some days you wake up and there's loads of shit, loads of bad, horrible people, two-faced. You think, why do I bother? But then when you go on a few hours and you speak to your real friends, you think, actually, the good people are better than the bad people. And we need bad people to know who good people are. So, Joanne, let them people be what they are, because we know what they are. They are two-faced, horrible, nasty, jealous, insecure maggots, worms, things that we can't say on this video. So what you've got to do, Joanne, is do what I do and ignore them ignore them they do not exist and when they say bad things confront them and say oi what are you saying they do not expect people to stand up to them so every time you stand up to them joanne you give me hope just like the song give me hope joanna give me hope so joanna every time you see someone two-faced every time you see a dirty snidey jealous person you tell them exactly what they are. And that, to me, shines on. Stand up to the haters. Stand up to the jealous people. Stand up to the trolls. Stand up to everybody. Because they will not be me. And I will not be them. Shine on. Mwah. And them people, they can shine off. We shine on, they shine off. Mwah. Shine on. So thank you, Joanne. You give me strength all the time. No disrespect, I meant. I say it as, as it is. We love the majority of you. Thank you, Joanne. Me too. Just stand up to the haters. Sharon Taylor says she loves you too. Joanne. Lisa Stan Stansfield. Hello, Lisa. Uh, no, Luke. Luke Stansfield. Hello, Luke. Shine on, Luke. I hope you and everyone's okay. And Richard Colson, hope you and Karen are okay today. Joanne, Richard, I hope you're all okay. The show has been going on for 53 minutes and 56 seconds. That means the show has got six minutes and four seconds. Probably five minutes and 55 seconds now. The quicker I speak, the quicker time goes. Time's going as we speak. Maybe we should just keep speaking because time is going so fast. But maybe we should just keep doing JB Daily Lives. We are bringing people together. Me and you forever. I love you all, ladies and gentlemen. We are really together. 
here we go. So Richard Colson, hope you and Karen are okay today. Thank you, Joanne. And Sharon Taylor, human slugs. Sharon, they are human slugs. I will never ever let them beat me. I will never ever, every time they hurt me, I get stronger. Every time they lie to me, their nose gets bigger and my brain gets brighter. I get, I buzz off weak people because they should learn to love people, not hate them. Love is all you need. Hate is never ever. No one will ever win in hurt or hate. You will only ever feel happy in love and dreams. So please, ladies and gentlemen, there's always time to believe in yourself and there's always time to make your dreams real. So how about during coronavirus, you spend a bit more time on your hobbies, your ambitions and your dreams. And I guarantee you that you might be a bit nearer to them. My dreams are simple. Fish, good people like you and making my book called Real Life Dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to cut my nails. I've been doing a bit of wood chopping today. So I'm going to chop them next. But I love you all. And shine on to Bonnie. Shine on to Bonnie. Shine on to Richard. Let's all go to Danny's Doggett House after this four-way party. Let's all go to Jaywick Beach, Richard. And let's all have a party there. And then we go back to my house afterwards. Thank you, Richard. Jason Taylor, just smile at them, Joanna. That's right, Jason. Just smile at them, Joanna. Love the Benadorm. Yes, I love the Benadorm. Shine on to Luke. Karen and Dan are okay. I'll be okay once I've had my happy juice. Shine on Joanne. Roy Fawn is watching. Shine on to the Roy. Richard Colson, look forward to your daily life tomorrow, okay? Thank you, Richard. Please share the video. If, if I said your name in the video, you're welcome to share the video. Show your world what our world is doing. So please, everybody that is in this video, please share the video. That is what I am asking you to do. Because then your friends will see what we are doing to stay home, to save lives. It's a very important message. Jaywick Daily Lives is here to keep people at home so we can save lives. So there is really an important message behind what I do here. But it wouldn't be that successful without any of you. So can I please say thank you to each and every person that has took the time to watch Jaywick Daily Lives, to even message in Jaywick Daily Lives. Thank you for your input. Thank you to each and every one of you for being a part of Jaywick Daily Lives. You have helped me stay at home and that saves lives. So thank you everyone for a wonderful day. The time now is 57.08. Okay, we have got, we have got two minutes and 50 seconds to go. Who wants to hear my poem again? The poem I wrote last night. Would any of you like to hear it again? Hello, Simon Bickers. Hello, Samantha Edwards. Sharon Taylor, thank you for another happy time. Thank you, Sharon Taylor, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for what you do. Here we go. We're going to end today's show. We're going to end today's show with this poem, okay? So first of all, I'm going to get you up to the right height. So let me get my tripod up. Do -do -do -do. I am with my tripod up. So you're higher. Read your poem one more time. going to end today's show, Jowick Daily Lives, with the poem I wrote last night. This poem is called, Really, My Wish. I wrote this last night. I'm very excited about this poem, Really, My Wish. You was always angry, always doubt. You've got to let it out. Stuck, mind, thought, control. Life in mode becomes boring. Somebody said something. Moving up slowly, we go forward together. Forever is all we remember. Now we taste cocktail memories. They don't leave like people do. 
We all wonder where life went wrong. I wonder we just grew up. Possible to grow out of even yourself. You're not you anymore when you doubt. When you doubt, the sky looks like a drought. Even stars look thirsty. Wake up, would you? We are. We are what my poem is about. Not anymore. No more why. Life's even shorter these days. Coronavirus is life's reality. I notice humans are seeing our real faces. Life's always how life is. So now, more than ever, I'd like to tell all I have shared time with, you really are my wish. You really are my wish. Really my wish. Last night I wrote that. Year 2020. I hope you like that, everybody. You really are my wish.